briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a legal dispute over a botched real estate deal that reached the Arkansas Court of Appeals in 2000, Johnston v. Curtis, the court was asked to consider whether oral modifications of contracts involving the sale of land were enforceable under the statute of frauds, a law that requires certain types of contracts to be in writing. The case centered on the sellers, Glenn and Deanna Curtis, and the buyers, Gerald and B.B. Dare Johnston. The two parties had signed a written contract with an agreed price, but later verbally changed the terms to reduce the selling price. The Johnstons, who had even moved into the house and made partial payments, failed to finalize the purchase. They argued on appeal that they were legally justified in their non-performance due to funding difficulties and issues with the oral agreement. The trial court, however, upheld the validity of the verbal amendment, ruling it outside the purview of the statute of frauds. The Johnstons were found liable for breach of contract for their failure to close the deal. In determining damages, the court awarded the Curtises the difference between the original contract price and the eventual selling price of the house to another party, after subtracting any amount already paid by the Johnstons. However, the Curtis's subsequent bid to receive punitive damages fell flat due to insufficient supporting evidence. The court's decision upheld on both direct appeal and cross appeal, firmly rejected arguments that stature of fraud should apply and conditions predating the contract should excuse the Johnston's violation. This ruling underlined that contracts, even when orally modified, must be honored. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.